I'm Dr. Teresa Sauer. Um, been here at Intermountain for now over 20 years. I feel very, very supported um, by my by my bosses, by my office manager, uh, to to pursue passions. Um, some of the I, I kind of got turned on to you know to Western medical acupuncture, and had. And, and not only did you know did my, my bosses um, say yeah let's sure you can pursue that they they helped me pursue that they helped me um, get the education I needed for that I'm Amber Toole um, I've been at Intermountain Pet Hospital for 17 years um, my job is uh, as patient operations manager I came to work at Intermountain. Uh, I was looking for a home to stay and uh, really loved Dr. Beatty and Dr. Bingham uh, and just loved the quality of medicine here, um, how they took care of uh, staff and the family feel um, and I've been here ever since. My name is Sarah Ramirez and I work as an exam room technician. I've been here since July 17, 2017, so it's almost going to be three years. <laughs> I work with Dr. Kinsella right now um, and working with her husband just so wonderful. Um, my teammates, uh, they help me out whenever I need help uh, working with people around. They like to help each other out. We talk to each other. We instill the core values, which is integrity, innovation, communication, and excellence. So we try to pursue that every time we work together. I love working with the people, the clients, and of course the pets. I love the staff. Um, I love training over here at Chinden. And just, yeah, I enjoy so many aspects of the job. A hospital that has those core values of integrity, innovation, communication, and excellence uh, is, is going to be a hospital that has the culture of high quality medicine, taking care of its clients, taking care of patients, taking care of um, and staff. I mean, it's all part of that. Integrity. Integrity really is just about honesty and being courageous and doing the right thing. Uh, and that's in all facets of what we do in, in dealing with our clients. You know, we, we want our clients to trust us wholeheartedly with our recommendation. And they're not going to trust us unless we treat them respectfully and with integrity. And same thing with our staff. We want our staff to, to trust us and each other. And if there's something that's not right, we want people to stand up and have courage and saying, we need to fix this uh, in, in any aspect of our business. Uh, innovation is probably one of the biggest challenges uh, and that's because we want to believe it internally that it's a good thing but it is hard. Innovation is the uh, desire for improvement and that requires change. It requires uh, internal discipline to change something that you've always done so that you can do it better. And although we all believe that, we all want that, it's hard. It's very difficult, change is difficult, and so our third core value is communication, and that's simply because we believe in communicating not only uh, educational um, information, but also just to, to create a good working atmosphere with our staff. It, and it's challenging. We have a big hospital. We have 70 plus employees. So communicating within, within all of our teams is very difficult. It's, and it's one of why it's one of our core values. We really, um, uh, we really work hard to make sure everybody's informed of all the changes in everything we do. It, it's not easy, but we, we, I think we do a good job of it. Uh, one of the things that we do that I think also sets us apart from a lot, a lot of other veterinary hospitals is we do communication training with our veterinarians. So our veterinarians meet once a month and we talk about communication techniques. And a lot of that has to do with educating our pet owners. Uh, so many times we have a pet owner come in with a problem 
And we as a veterinarian, we know in our mind what needs to be done. You know, like we need to do blood work, we need to do x-rays, or we need to do this test, that test, or this diagnostic procedure. But pet owners oftentimes, unless they know why we are doing what they're doing, are confused and sometimes frustrated and sometimes afraid. You know, they don't really know what's happening. And so we really work on communication with our veterinarians so that they can educate the pet owners so the pet owners know why we are doing what we're doing. They need to know why we are taking x-rays or why we're doing blood work. And then the last core value is excellence. And that goes without saying, you know, we just really believe in doing the best you can. And we expect that of ourselves. We expect that of our staff. Uh, we expect that of the pet owners. We expect them to be a partner with us in providing excellent care for the pet. And we want pet owners that care as much about the health and well-being of that pet as we do. Uh, hi, my name is Kim Bovehill. I'm the hospital administrator at Air Mountain Pet Hospital. I've been with this company for 17 years now. I started as a technician and I uh, had the opportunity to learn and grow and I'm now the administrator. The leadership program here is a one-year program and it's designed to help people grow their interpersonal skills. It's divided into three sections. So the first third of the year, um, the focus is on self-development, so there's courses on budgeting and finance, health, um, nutrition, st uh, strengths-based leadership, and kind of learning what your strengths are. And then the second portion of the leadership program it is focused around team skills. So how, how do I, what do I need to do to be a good team mate? How do I work well within a team? So it focuses on communication skills. It focuses on building um, trust and relationships with their teammates. And then the last portion of the program focuses on how do I lead a team and what skills do I need? How do I become a leader of a team? So. So several years ago, the opportunity came out for veterinarians to become fear-free certified and being innovative, we, we jumped right on that for many, many reasons. So most of our, well, all of our veterinarians are fear-free certified and many of our staff are fear-free certified, which means that they've had to go through a rigorous course of training to provide fear-free care. And you might ask, why is that important? Why is being fear-free important? And there are several reasons, but number one is we want our patients to be able to come into the hospital and have a good experience. Uh, in the past, veterinary care was provided um, in a way that was very, um, you know, a lot of manhandling and, and force. And those pets didn't want to come back. You know, they, they would have a bad experience. They would be afraid to come back because they didn't want the same thing to happen. And that does two things. Number one, if the pet doesn't want to come back, the owner notices that and, and they don't want to come back, so they don't get the veterinary care that they need. But more importantly, the stress alone has a dramatic impact on the healing of, of, uh, of an individual. So if the pet comes in here and feels stress or anxiety, it affects their ability to heal for whatever reason they're here. And so if we can make that a good experience for that pet, not only will they heal better, but with that good experience, they won't mind coming back again um, next time. Dr. Consola and I had a client um, with a pet named Louis Renard. He's a little, um, what would you call him, Papillon, so he has the little hairs on his ears. Um, he's a little bit on the unfriendly side, so he doesn't really like, uh, you know, other people. Um, but with him, we were able to work um, with our Fear Free Techniques and achieve a lot for him. Um, he originally came in the first time for kennel cough, um, and the, the owner mentioned that she was having a really difficult time medicating him. He was getting really smart about, you know, finding the pill. Um, so I gave her a couple of tips and tricks on how to help her out, you know. She was able to put the medication into him and help him out. I, te I taught her how to do the treat stuff and how to like trick him to not know which treat has a pill into it. Um, and later on uh, during the week when we called her back because we call our clients back. Um, 
she mentioned that uh, she really loved that I helped her out, um, that she felt that we had saved Louis's life um, because we were able to give him that medication. He was able to, you know, get better, and then from there on, all the, all the other medications helped him out even more. But he was never that sick anymore. So 